talking about um, the Druid's Prayer. Darodheu de nawd ac yn nawd nerth ac yn nerth deall ac yn neall gwybod ac yn gwybod gwybod y cyfiawn ac yn gwybod y cyfiawn a'i gari ac o gari cari pob hanfod ac o gari pob hanfod cari dyw dyw a pob daioni So we'll be uh, talking about the um, Gorset prayer or Gwydir of Set uh, the Druid's prayer Gwydir Derwid as it's also called and it was first published uh, by the Welsh writer and poet the Reverend uh, John Williams uh, who was born in 1787 and who died in 1847. It was also called uh, Talisan Ab Ithel in the Bardas, and it is believed that uh, Williams had drawn this prayer from a collection of manuscripts uh, belonging to his father, Edward Williams, who himself was born in 1747 and died in 1828. Uh, this Williams uh, was a stonemason of the Cardiff region who went by the bardic name of Yolo Marganugan, that is Ned of Clamorgan. And it is not known whether it was composed by one of the Williams or if it was copied from an earlier manuscript from an oral source, as it was claimed in the introduction uh, to the uh, first uh, bardas. Despite its uh, monotheistic nature, henceforth uh, Christian, it nevertheless uh, retains uh, the older mindset of the Druids' uh, theological triads. And uh, this critical element will not uh, convince diehard septics, but will raise uh, more questions than affording uh, satisfactory answers. Christian J. Guillonvach and Françoise Leroux in La Société Sceptique have also raised uh, this issue. Their uh, comment willing uh, that um, Williams et Alia could not have had an inkling on the literary ploys of the uh, tripartite ideology of uh, the Indo-Europeans before the studies of Georges Dumézil and was not found to contradict the uh, data found in the Bardas. This especially noticed with the Welsh nomenclature, uh, Wibodath, uh, wisdom and Dione, goodness, are descriptive of the uh, first social function. Galu uh, power and might was indicative of the second warriors and aristocratic uh, social function. Uh, Buid, life and career, friendship and love of the third uh, productive and social order. Thereby the authors concluded to the impossibility for there being a spontaneous revival uh, of this philosophy and were thus forced to accept some form of atavistic uh, transmission. Their question was as to whether these uh, triads were recopied uh, from earlier Christianized lost manuscripts or that these were eventually uh, destroyed or concealed from the scrutiny uh, of public uh, curiosity. So this uh, same conclusion was uh, given by uh, the uh, French uh, scholar uh, Joseph Monard, who in his old uh, Celtic grammar wrote the following. On the question of the uh, source material uh, for the Gorset uh, prayer, it is impossible to attest to the antiquity of this uh, initial phraseology. Hence, the question, is it a, a apocryphal or authentic composing? However, it is quite likely that the theme of the prayer may have been preserved in some traditional Welsh Bardic school, picking up from the Bardas, it was translated into many languages, including French and, and German. So I do not know uh, who uh, the author of the first French translation was, since it was uh, widely uh, circulated within the neo-Druidical 
fellowships. Uh, can we consider a Le Begue or a Lisée? For my part, I had almost simultaneous knowledge of the text in French and German while leafing through the books at the uh, local library. That was in Switzerland 15 years before I began a methodical research into ancient uh, Druidism. Later on several, other, on several other occasions, I was able to read and rewrite this prayer in these two uh, languages, especially uh, the synonyms identical to those of my first readings, but showing some punctual uh, variance. And these mainly due to divergent uh, ideas within uh, certain neo-Druidical groups. It was uh, therefore quite easy to uh, synthesize a text based on the highest average for these phrasings. And here is what it gives according to uh, the French versions. Donne-nous, ô oh Dieu, ton soutien, et avec ton soutien la force, et avec la force la compréhension, et avec la compréhension la science, et avec la science le discernement de ce qui est juste, et en l'aimant l'amour du prochain, du prochain et de tout ce qui vit. Et avec l'amour du prochain et de tout ce qui vit, l'amour de Dieu, de Dieu et de toute bonté. Which uh, roughly translates as follows in English. Uh, Give us, O oh God, your support, and with your support, strength, and with strength, understanding, and with understanding, science, and with science, the discernment of what is right. And by loving him, love of neighbor, love of neighbor and all that lives, and with love of neighbor and all that lives, love of God, of God and all goodness. Well, the um, reconstruction of a text uh, in, in its uh, presumable uh, orig original uh, language uh, can quite often provide us with elements uh, of appreciation capable of indicating its veracity uh, when, when not it, its uh, counterfeiting. So then, um, one of the possible uh, positive elements uh, is the uh, highlighting of the uh, alliterations uh, whose effect is uh, imperceptible uh, once translated into words belonging to, the, to another language. So he then goes on to add, I then chanced for the sake of it uh, a trial rendition in Celto-Galatic, a Celtic P language mastered by the Gaulish Druids and Gutuatris. They're using uh, prayer guides found in epigraphy. And this exercise was interesting, but not conclusive. That is, nothing sure despite the uh, permutation of various synonyms providing little linguistic in indications of any real antiquity. Nothing either came to invalidate this effort, all the more so since some of the uh, expressions were easy to be cross-checked against, attested examples recovered in, from antiquity about the thought system of the ancient Druids. Therefore, it did not indicate anything of, at variance with what we come to know about the ancient Druids and their values. So, um, one point noticed in the French translation, however, was not substantiated by the vocabulary. And um, one term uh, created uh, quite a stir, and this term was le uh, prochain. The word neighbor is customary in, in, in Christian wording and should automatically be suspected uh, as an encroachment in that in what otherwise uh, would be deemed um, as Druidic in origin. So as uh, Banal noted, uh, the word prochain in French uh, translation is not found in English versions of the Welsh given in the Bardis, which uh, uses uh, the phrase, uh, love of all things and love of every living thing. Well, this uh, usage uh, would not happen in the English phrasing where neighbor used in the religious sense would be rendered as fellow man and secondarily having the sense of next to kin. But then again, uh, the idiomatic expression love of neighbor does come from very well defined ancient Celtic uh, lexical elements uh, to wit uh, uh, love, carantia, friendship, uh, friendly love, uh, 
The term derives from the Indo-European root uh, car, which uh, various, uh, which is variously known in, in ancient uh, Celtic uh, with words uh, uh, such as uh, carantia, uh, duno caria for um, philanthropy, uh, hence uh, hospitality, or true caro, true careto, meaning uh, compassion, true garia, uh, solicitude, and um, the terms uh, devo uh, serca, meaning love of God, or of the gods, uh, serca, a love passion, similar to the Hindu notion of bhakti. So, um, fellow man or a neighbor as an individual, nizamos, in, is attested in um, the plural genitive Nedzaman in Gaelic epigraphy on a cup found in uh, Benassac, uh, France, in the following uh, inscription uh, Nedzaman del Gulinda. Of the neighbors, I contain the drinks, that is, I contain the drinks of the neighbors. Therefore, unless uh, proven otherwise, uh, it remains highly improbable that an oral tradition could uh, faithfully transmit its uh, literal content without outside alterations other than those uh, usually expected through successive translations uh, since antiquity, and this occurring in the absence of written support uh, handed uh, down from the high period. Septics are therefore free to quote uh, the following expression uh, dear to uh, Giordano Bruno. Se non è vero, è bene trovato. If it's not true, it is well found. So uh, alongside uh, this modest uh, current uh, of thought, uh, there seems to have been uh, another viewpoint uh, within uh, the uh, philosophical uh, uh, Druid schools, um, which was uh, polytheistic, uh, and um, it admitted um, the um, uh, existence of a unnamed uh, god, uh, the god of the Druids placed above all other gods. So it is uh, therefore possible that uh, for them this uh, great prayer above mentioned began with um, uh, uh, this uh, invocation. Ad we druidan mo duetaris papam duam. O god of the Druids, my god above other all gods. So we know that the ancient Druids, including those um, among them, uh, believe more or less of in the existence of gods uh, preached by the Celts, uh, uh, that is to honor the gods uh, because uh, encouragement to maintain popular religion is um, a factor of community cohesion and social order. It is uh, therefore possible that they had proposed a uh, polytheistic uh, variant uh, uh, of what the um, the Druids uh, maintained, uh, O gods of the Celts, composed uh, using uh, the grammatically correct plural cases. So here is what uh, it would give, um, um, uh, according to um, to the polyistic uh, restitution. At Dewey Celtian, Asuas Kobaran, at Dewey Snebi Date. Etikan os suesi cobaro nertum, etikan nertu condonin, etikan condoni ulen, etikan ule quidi widian, etikan quidi widie ian caro danonin, etik caro caron tiebi id carantian, nezami, nezami etik oli diwanti, etik can. Carante Nezami Oli Pe Biwanti Carantian de Wian de Wian Olas Pe Dagias. So this is according to um, uh, Joseph Monard, the, uh, the uh, prayer for all Celts, uh, which would correspond in, in some way to um, one of the uh, prayers found in the Bardas. So uh, what I did is I went uh, directly to the, uh, the Welsh original and I translated from the Welsh into um, uh, Gaulish and this is what um, it um, gave. Um, 
and this is uh, my so this is my Welsh uh, uh, original uh, translated into um, uh, Gaelic. So it's called the uh, Gedia Druidos. Gedia Druidos. Ernomene Dewe Druidian Utepan Ak and Tuos Utepan Nertam Ak Nertude Pela Ak Pelede Vidia Ak Vedede Vidia Dagande Ak Vidia Dagande Caro Sindi Ak Caro Sindi Caro Di Wiki Di Wiki etic Olodagias a Dewe Druidian Moyon Devos Tares Papan Dewan. So without further ado, here is uh, the original sung by the, uh, the Welsh uh, Gorset uh, for the Estefad, the Welsh Estefad, in the Welsh original. a Dewi Griffiths, y ffan ffermwyr yn galw ar bawb na pavilion i godi ar gyfer gweddi'r orsedd. <coughs> well, uh, now the Agavision, then we did the ceremony of the Ruthnos, ceremony of the Rior Bar. So finally, here is uh, Sandy Marin. Um, a French um, uh, composer, uh, songwriter, and this is um, what he did uh, with uh, my translation uh, in Gaelic uh, of uh, the Welsh uh, Gorset prayer. Oh, 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 oh,